effect. And then I'm going to go to my attach, and I'll, I'll attach the hat and the monocle. Once they're attached, I can edit this guy. And how I'm going to edit is starting out with the bottom of his face here and delete that. So once I've deleted that, now I need to figure out what faces I can potentially delete. And this is just a, a process of looking around and trying to get everything to keep the form of the head without modifying it too much. Is that we're adding asymmetry to this. We're adding asymmetry to this model, um, but it's just how how do we deal with the, the asymmetry? And I mean, we want to be able to close this up so that we don't run into errors. And I mean, right now we're at 509 triangles, so without adding anything potentially um Let's see how ridiculous this looks Alright, so this is the, it's more of a trick, uh, and I'm going to rely back to the, the bridge tool to help me out. And I mean, you can see that I'm just I'm looking for edges to connect. It's part of the reason why I'm not not talking too much is to find out all right what 
what can I connect? And for this last gap here, I'm just going to do a cap just to create the face. All right, so that we we keep the basic shape of his face. There's a little error right there where the weld didn't take into play, so I gotta weld that up. And it looks like there's a stray vert here, so I wanna remove that. And there's a stray vert there, so I wanna remove that. Um once I've I mean done this here, I'm gonna actually marquee everything. Like so, do a weld and set my threshold down to a low value like this. You can see that before I have 262 verts and after with my weld threshold that set to zero I have 260. That means somewhere in the model that there were not some vertices welded whether it was the cut tool or something else. Some didn't weld. And why this is important is because there's my triangle count is down to 510. So by just doing that I reduce my triangle count some more for optimization so the last thing for optimization here because like I said is I'd love to be able to add stuff there but I can't there's just there's no room for it is checking out the the faces to make sure everything is welded correctly and there's not any stray vertices because that sometimes happens so I'm gonna right click and go to object properties and this time I want to uncheck edges only. When I uncheck edges only, you'll see that I have these faces that have these dotted lines. And these are showing all the triangles on the model. And what we're looking for, or looking to see, is see if we have any faces that have two triangles like this. And the reason that we're looking for that setup is that means that we have an end gone. All right, a five or six or seven or eight sided face. We don't want those. Um, they make our life more difficult than they need to, than it should be. I mean, triangles are not the best, but end guns are difficult to work with. And we have one right here also. Alright, but our model looks pretty good, so, I mean, that, to um, solve this, I'm just going to use my cut tool, is that we don't want five-sided faces, we want tries and quads, so I'm just going to force it, so I have a quad and a triangle, and then with the, the hands here, I'm actually just going to target weld, and part of the reason I'm going to target weld is we need triangles, or we need to lower our count. I mean, ideally, like I said, we want to lower our count, so we're at 506 now. And now it's just getting creative on how can I get our get the poly count a little lower.
and this is where the like I said the, the process just becomes um, a little slow because we need to figure out what is the the best solution and I I don't want to do this but I have to so I'm just going to do a loop hold down control and click remove and now I'm under my 500 tries I'm at 496 so now we have our optimized penguins model I know that it looks crude and I'm just going to turn off my edges only Um, but this is a low poly model, all right. 500 tries, like I said, this is something that you might see in a DS or um, <coughs> PSP. Uh, what we want to do now is apply smoothing groups to the the model itself so that this stands out a little more. So I'm going to start with the hat and just do grow, grow, and do one more grow. Actually. First off, I'll select all and click on clear all. And what this is is basically how light affects the model depending on the smoothing groups. So if we set everything, like right now, we have smoothing groups set to zero. So if I render this off, you'll see a very faceted model. If I go the other extreme and set this all to one, we have a much smoother model. Then we also have auto smooth, all right. And auto smooth really doesn't do it. So we want to do clear all. And what we're going to be doing is manually assigning what faces get what. So I'm going to do my grow, so I get the top hat, and I'll set that to one. Then I'll go to the face or the head. And I'm going to grab the hair also. And you might need to ch check on ignore back facing when you do this. And once I have that selected, I'm going to go set that to 2. And I'm going to hide selected. Oops. Hide selected. So that I hide those selected faces once I'm done. Uh, the reason I would do this is just make my life easier to select stuff. <coughs> now the undershirt. Oops. So my command panel back up there. And with those faces, I'll set to three, hide selected, 